What's good guys, I'm here, aka Discreet. Uh, hope you're all well and staying safe at home. I've been asked over uh, the past few weeks if I could do some sort of online classes. Um, some of you may know, I've been a dancer for sort of 20 plus years, specialised in a range of different hip hop styles um, and loads of different variations. We're gonna start with some breaking tutorials and classes. I'm going to look over some choreo, uh, we're going to cover different foundations, different um, levels as well, so we're going to have some beginner stuff in there, some intermediate and advanced. Um, I understand that there are millions and millions of other dancers out there, this is just my twist on things, um, some things I name differently to others, some things I do differently to other people, this is just how I've learned and how I've taught over those years, uh, but more than anything guys, stay active, get involved and I hope you enjoy it, peace. So now we're going to move on to our intermediate choreography. So for this choreography, we're mainly just looking at top rocks and intermediate steps. It is a piece of choreography that's going to go to music. So I'm going to follow that through step by step. Hopefully I can break it down enough. As we move on to the next session, we'll look at extending this choreography into something more, but we're just mainly going to be looking at top rocks. So we're going to start facing sideways. Obviously, I am facing the right, so the right hand side of me. It might be different for you guys, but do it on whatever side feels natural for you. On the one, we're gonna travel forward and we're gonna turn 180 degrees. So we're gonna rotate to the front, so we step one behind our shoulder, two, okay? And the shape I'm taking is this, so sort of like a star shape. Facing here, five, six, seven, eight. Step one, step two. Okay, I'm then going to rotate again, but this time I'm going to bend slightly, I'm going to rotate my back leg to the front, and I'm going to hit a top rock out to the front. So my foot hits the floor, and I hit the top rock to the front. Okay, so let's go from the back. Five, six, seven, rotate. Step one, step two, top rock, three. So I'm doing three rotations. The first one, right shoulder to the front. Second one, left shoulder goes behind. Third one, right shoulder comes to the front again, and I'm hitting that top rock nice and low. Okay? Let's try that. Normal speed. Five, six, seven, and step one, step two, hit three. On the four, we're going to bring this right foot back, and we're going to put it out to the right hand side. So I'm here, step it out, four. So I'm coming up a level, I'm keeping my arms nice and wide, and I'm stepping out to that right angle. Doesn't matter if it's here or a little bit further back, just do what feels comfortable. So let's try that four. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, and step one, step two, top rock three, back four. Perfect. Let's try that to music. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and one, two, top rock back. four count. Let's move in on. So let's do that first four count all together again. So we rotate in. One, two, top rock, front to the side of the four. We're now going to take that back leg, that right leg, we're going to swing it round and we're going to make a little circle as we bring our torso to the left hand side. So I'm going to bring it round, I'm going to make a little circle in the air, so that's from left to right, so we circle in round and top rock the front again. Once again guys, with your arms, do whatever comes naturally, okay? I'm working a lot with open arms and closed, but it's entirely to you what you want to do. Put your own flavour on it, develop it how you want. So let's go back from the top, we're rotating. One, two, top rock, three, step out, circle one and two. We're going to use that same leg. Pivot on the back leg, we're going to kick our right leg to the front, we're going to change it, and we're going to step out. Okay? So from this, which is the four count, we come round five and six, kick seven and eight. Make sense? Here we go. From the top, five, six, seven, rotate. One, two, top rock, three, come four. Circle round, it's five, seven and eight. Okay, normal speed, here we go, five, six, seven, and step one, step two, rock three and four, circle round and six, and kick and out. One more time, five, six, seven, and take one, two, four, three, and out. 
rotate round, kick to the side. Let's try that. Music. so far that's the first eight count we're going to move on to the next one okay the next step we're going to look at is what we call an up rock or a battle rock stepping our left foot out to the side we're going to bring it in hands on the knee okay both hands it's like we're coming in and we're going to explode out the way we do that is we come in on the one on the two we're kicking that left leg forward both arms back two three and four is we're going to swing this leg back, forward, back, down, okay? So that is your up rock and your battle rock. So the way we do that is, this is the eight, we come in on the one, two leg stays in the air, three and down. One more time, so this is the eight, come in on the one, explode out, keep the leg in the air, forward and down. Nice, let's go from the beginning. Five, six, Seven, rotate, step one, two, rock three, step out, circle round to the front, kick to the side, and in, explode, swing, swing, drop. Once we've got that drop here, we're gonna explode out for two more steps, very similar. Taking my right foot forward, I'm gonna jump up, explode out, as if I'm doing a lunge. I'm gonna drop back in, I'm gonna explode out the other side with my left leg, drop back in. So once again, I'm doing open arms, but it's entirely up to you what variation you want to do. So from the eight, coming in on the one, explode two, switch three, and drop. Come out, in, in, out, out. Final step, we're going to look at after. We'll try it with the music for now, okay? So one more time, from the beginning. Five, six, Seven with the count. Step one, two, rock three and four. Come round six, kick seven and eight. One, two, three and four. Come on, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that is our second eight count. Right, six, five, six. Second eight done. We're going to do one more eight to finish off that section, and this is how it's going to go. So, we've just finished coming down on the eight. We're going to jump up again on the one. Big arms this time. This is what we call a B boy or B girl pose. So, eight, jump up on the one. On the two, we're going to cross our feet. Right foot crosses over left. Two, we're going to rotate round. Three and four. Okay, so we're rotating round to the left. Right over left, round to the left. If you want to rotate the other side, left over right, and round to the right, because that's natural, that's fine, guys. Do whatever feels and comes comfortable to you. So, from the eight, jump up on the one, cross our feet on the two. I'm going to bring my arms in to create a different shape. So tie it to you whether you want to. We're going to rotate on the three and the four. So that's eight, one, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm going to add a little clap on the four to finish that four count up. So from the very beginning, here we go. Rotate to the front. Step one, two, top rock, three and four. Rotate round front, kick to the side. In, explode. Switch, switch, down, up, in, up, in, pose, cross, turn around. The last four count for this section, here we go. We're going to jump out with our feet, one, okay? As you do this, we're going to point Usain Bolt style all the way to the right hand side. We're going to hop in, we're going to hop out to the other side, on the three, in, on the four. We're then going to do the same move twice on the right hand side but this time a little bit quicker we're going to go one and two and okay so the first move is one two three four 
three, four, double up, five, and six. And that is going to be travelling back. So we've dropped on the eight, come up on the one, we've crossed on the two, we've rotated, four, five, and six, and double, and double, and seven, and eight. Okay? This is what it should look like fast. Eight, one, two, three, four, travel back and double sound. And that is where we finish that eight count. We've got one more eight count to do just to finish that section off. Okay, from the beginning, here we go. No music. Five, six, seven, row no, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. One, two, switch, switch down, open, in, open, in, cross out, in, turn around, right and left, and double time. Perfect, guys. Let's try that with music. Go. Five, six, five, six, seven, and Amazing guys, well done. Hope you're enjoying it. So far, we've got one more eight just to finish it, and this is more intricate. It's a little bit tricky, but it's a clean and intricate way of going from A, stood up, down to the floor, and finishing this section. So this is what we're gonna do. We've just got one and two and double time. Finished here on the eight. Top rock with the right leg on the one, one. We're going to pretend that our knees at this point are attached together. We're going to use our back leg to create a different shape, which is flinging and posing my left leg out to the side. So I'm here, finishing on the eight. I step one, two, and then I'm going to bring this back three to cross behind my right leg. And then I'm going to do the similar move with my right hand side. But this time I'm going to use my foot instead of my knee and I'm going to bring it up to create another pose. Okay, so it's sort of like your knees and your feet, especially your heel, are slightly connected through that four count. So we finished on the eight. This is one. Left leg up, two. Bring behind three. Heel, four. Okay, and it's about creating those really nice shapes, especially using our arms as well. So from the eight, we've got one and two and, okay? Nice little four section, four moves. Here we go. From the eight, one and two and. I'm gonna take the bottom of this foot and I'm gonna to aim to place it on the floor but keeping my knee close to this foot. So I'm dropping here. My foot hits the floor, floor first, not my knee. So I'll show you again a little bit closer so you can see. This is one, two, three, four, drop, five. Okay, so you see how my knee's here covering up my foot? But the first part was my foot hit, then my knee goes down. Okay, so let me show you this. Let me show you this from eight, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, from here, I'm going to bring this knee down, I'm going to rotate to the left, and a little knee spin, I'll finish this count with a knee pose, or any kind of freeze pose you want. I'm going to go to the knee, it's entirely up to you what you want to do to finish that full choreography, okay? So let's just try that last four count again, just to finish it off. So on eight, we go in one, and two, and three, and four. So that is it guys, that is the piece of choreography, the intermediate breaking, mainly top rocking and some foundation steps in there. We're going to recap it all together, we're going to do it slow, just with the count, we're going to do it fast with the count, and then we'll finish it off with the music. And I hope you guys, you guys have enjoyed it. Here we go. So, from the top, we're going five, six, seven, nice and slow, rotate one, two, top rock, front, step out, swing round and forward. Kick to the left, come in, explode, switch, switch, down, jump, out, in, out, in, b-boy pose, b-girl pose, rotate to the front, 
switch. One and two, double, double. Side, step one, cross two. Behind, cross, drop to the front, spin to the front. Let's try that normal speed with count. Five, six, seven, and step one. Two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, finish. Let's try that with music, guys. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. intermediate breaking choreo mainly working with top rocks from beginning to end we had that little go down in the end just to make that nice and clean to finish it off the song I am using is b-boy stance by death cup you can use that song if you want I'm sure you find it on Spotify or YouTube if you haven't got access to that guys use whatever song you want you might just have to speed it up or slow it down but try and keep to those counts that we've gone through I hope you've enjoyed it We'll add some more onto that next time, but for now, um, keep active, keep safe. If you are doing it, guys, film yourself, tag me in it. It'd be great to see everyone else doing that bit of choreo. But for now, guys, stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you next time. Peace.